Supply and demand is another thing that has been a continuous struggle throughout the pandemic. So Carson is here now to tell us what garden goodies we should grab to make sure we are set for this season and you want these things before they run out. Hey, Carson, good to see you. Good to see you too, Tracy. I mean, as if last year wasn't bad enough. Here we go. <laughs> Yay! Garden centers are already starting to talk about things that are going to run short. Now, was there anything last year, Tracy, that you couldn't get that ran out? I got uh, on the mulch train a little bit late, so I'm going to try and do that early. And I'm seeing people on my street already with their bags of mulch. I'm like, oh my God, I got to get there. Yeah, absolutely true. This year is going to be a little different, though, on the things that are not going to be available. And it's going to surprise you. The first one for me is it's not the plants. Last year we ran out of plants. This year it's going to be the soil. Now, oh. believe it or not, we're starting to show shortages of bagged soil. Now, it's not the actual soil or what goes into it. It's the bags themselves. The suppliers can't actually get bags to bag the product to send it to us. Oh. So the bag soil that's in the stores right now, buy it quick because they're not going to be able to restock. And a lot of it has to do with the petroleum products that are used in plastics. The other part is a lot of companies flipped over to making PPE. So all the back stock on bag soil and containers has run out. Another perfect example, liquid fertilizers. If you're a liquid fertilizer user, get it now because there is not going to be any left very shortly. Cardboard containers like this one, which is a pelleted form, no problem. But liquids, not so much. Speaking of containers, insecticidal soap. This ran out last year and the same thing is going to happen this year. Okay, now does this work for all plants? I mean, it does. It's pretty much safe for everything, but these work specifically for aphids and for the little fungus gnats that look like fruit flies, white flies as well. But this does nothing for caterpillars or for beetles, and that's where the other part of this problem is going to come in. We're starting to see all of our solutions, like this guy called BTK, which is a natural forming bacteria, which is used on tent caterpillars and gypsy moss. This is already flying off the shelves. We are going to see infestations across the country of the those two specific insects like we've never seen before, specifically gypsy moths. And now gypsy moths, they're spreading everywhere across all of the big provinces in all the sectors. Another one that's spreading across Canada and into the US, Japanese beetles. Now they look like this guy right here. Japanese beetles form in clusters and they eat everything. They just devour it and we're seeing infestations again like never before. Japanese beetle traps and refills also flying off the shelves in anticipation of a bad year ahead. Oh no. Okay, are there certain areas that are harder hit by Japanese beetles? I would have said yes last year. This year, it's everywhere. I think in the prairies in North Dakota, they're not seeing as much, but on the West Coast, on the East Coast, down Central through Ontario into Washington or into New York, so bad. These Japanese beetles are just doing a real number, which is going to be a real problem for the gardeners this year. Now, Tracy, I have a question for you, though. Okay. Do you like big flower pots on the front door, beside the door, as a decor piece outside? Oh, yes, I do. Don't tell me that we have to get those real quick, too. You know that's where we were going. Everything big flower pots, patio furniture, anything that requires a lot of space when it's being shipped overseas, it's a one and done, which means all of the supplies are here now. We're not going to get restocked in anything. In fact, I'm actually hearing suppliers from overseas saying they're going to start shipping Christmas now to make sure <gasps> it gets here in time. So if you want big items like barbecues, patio furniture, flower pots, do it now or you're going to run out. Carson, you have the best tips always. So we have been warned, everyone. Go out and get those goodies now because gardening is something that helps so much for the blood pressure and we all want to get out there and enjoy. So uh, very nice that you've given a list of what we need to get right now. He just keeps adding to my shopping list, this guy. Thank you.